from underground craze, urban kids at backlot parties having good, clean fun. Heidi Kuda shows us how the ska core scene is heating up. <laughs> back lot of a tattoo parlor, it's total madness. <laughs> Hundreds show up to skank, mosh, and slam, old style dance moves adopted by an entirely new generation. Stop! Esteban Flores is the 19-year-old promoter of this growing scene, and he only has a few rules. No booze, no drugs, no DJs. I'm against all of that stuff. And the music is explosive. From the sonic energy of La Pobresca to the mellow, rock-steady style of Blanco y Negro. <laughs> It's all about love for ska, a dance music born in Jamaica known for its horn sections and punk spirit. We just gather together, have fun, listen to music, um, just spend nights together. A generation after ska-infused bands like No Doubt and Sublime made names for themselves playing backyard parties, these kids add their own flavor. Nowadays bands, they talk about us, they don't talk about other people, they talk about us, how we are. We all come from East LA, South Central, what we live through in our neighborhood, we express it through music. Some dub it ska core. With hardcore bands like the Misfits and the Casualties all laced into the DNA of this scene. Not only is it here, it's in Arizona, it's in Texas, it's in Chicago, it's in New York. Every day there's always, there's always at least one new person getting to the scene. Promoter Esteban Flores wants parents to know, at his parties, the kids are all right. It, it's just amazing what, what this, this music, this, this has got me into. It, it, it really steered me away from the wrong messages of life. <laughs> I, I like the no drugs, no alcohol. Yeah, it reminds me of my kids' youth. <laughs> the 